office, Belmont Park, Belmont Stakes Day, nothing better. And you know, what was your earliest moment in racing for you, man? Well, the first memory of Belmont Park for me was I was here the day Seattle Slough won the Triple Crown, came here with my father, I was 12 years old. Um, had been to Aqueduct a lot, because I grew up closer to Aqueduct. Had never been to Belmont. And the first time here, I get to see one of the greatest horses of all time win the Triple Crown. And it's a great memory I have with an afternoon spent with my father. What made you fall in love with the horses enough to want to get on and ride one? You, you know, as a kid in Brooklyn, you didn't have access to horses very much. Uh, went out to live on Long Island with my grandfather, and there were horse farms close by, and I was in, instantly attracted to them, instantly uh, you know, passionate about it. Got a job on a farm. They used to pay me one dollar for every stall I mucked out, and at the end of the week I could either take money or take riding lessons. So I invested in my future and took riding lessons. The greatest horses that you that you fell in love with early on? Well, for me as a kid in the 70s, as a racing fan, I loved Forgo was number one. That horse, because he would come back every year. He raced for several years. Um, so you knew May, you would start looking for him in the entries, and, and he was my first favorite horse. Uh, Ruffian was incredible, uh, Bold Forbes, Seattle Slough, and then of course, Affirmed and Aladar, one of the greatest rivalries in the history of the sport, kind of sealed my fate. And you know, the name of our program, right, is the real players inside the backstretch. A program like you're doing brings people in touch with what goes on behind the scenes. Everybody sees the horses in the paddock, they see the jockeys in the bright colors. They don't see all the work and dedication that goes into getting those horses there, uh, and put it on the show. It's, it's, it, it would be like a, a Broadway play. Everybody sees the actors, the singers, the dancers. There's a lot of people behind the scenes that make that show go. Without them, there's no show. Yeah. When you hear the name Julie Crone, what come to mind? Uh, I rode with Julie. Julie Crone was a terrific rider, uh, tenacious, a, a, a groundbreaking uh, person. You know, she, she broke barriers. Uh, women didn't get the respect they deserved until Julie came along and showed that a, a woman could ride a horse just as good as a man. I feel like everything in life happens for a reason. Ran into each other last night, we were meant to meet.